All right, hello humans. Uh, this is just a video about my experience doing three like art random art raffles where I ask some people who follow me uh, just to submit a character description, whether it's like an OC or a D&D character or just something they made up on the spot. Uh, I did three of them. The first two were on Twitter and the last one recently was on Instagram and I had so much fun and it was such a great experience doing this and I can't wait to do more. So for for these three I just decided to do colored sketches because I wanted it was still kind of new I didn't want to devote too much time on them because I have a lot of other work that I do and so in the future I might actually try to do a full piece or just maybe something a lot cleaner but I was really just kind of trying to take what was given and like work with it and see what I could produce in a short amount of time and the characters I got were just so much fun so this character is Gerda and this was from Orson Fells on Twitter he does he streams on Twitch and I highly recommend going to see him he streams a lot of games um, I personally love the like he does I love the uh, monster creation and D&D like character creation type stuff that he does with people sometimes during the stream so his character is Gerda an ancient looking orc woman with gnarly gray beards, a hunched back and covered in various herbs and I think poultices is how it's pronounced, uh, she gathered. She carries a blackened staff, has a wry smile that seems to be hiding something, and seems to occasionally blend into the shadows. I forgot to add the shadows part. And um, I still like how it turned out though. Uh, and I hadn't known what a poltice was, so that was interesting. But I really, really liked how her face came out, and I kind of want to do more orcs. Uh, this next one was from Snurda Purds. Uh, uh, he's on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, he also streams. He does. He does a lot of games. He did the Yakuza games, which were really fun, and they also do D and D, which I check in once in a while. Uh, he's really funny and he's really easy to talk to. Um, so his description was a tall, broadly built man with long brown hair and a shaggy beard, covered in a black flowing cloak with a hood with no shirt on. His thick torso carried the weight of both heavy muscle and plenty of ale. The tree trunks he called legs sported tight pants and fur-lined boots. He casually carried in the crook of his arm, oh my goodness, a Zweihander known as Dagger. He carried a satchel over his shoulder and had one side of a pair of manacles attached to his wrist. Face and body was covered in dirt and only his this barbarian would confuse himself for a rogue. Uh, I also had to look up that weapon. So but it was it was a lot of fun. I liked how this turned out as well. I liked his face. Um, I do think his pose was a little stiff, and I definitely need to work on like more muscly anatomy. So that's definitely something I'm gonna work on more. And both of those two were done in April on Twitter, and then this last one that I'm doing now was done in uh, was from Instagram, and. It was a really cute uh, description from Hugsy XYZ. Uh, she said she made this up on the spot. A silver-haired witch that loves potions and playing with spell magic. A bit, of, a bit mysterious, but likes helping people, something like that. So this was pretty like broad, and uh, I didn't know if I should do like an older witch because silver-haired could like I guess could be older, but like also. I don't know if you've seen Howl's Moving Castle main character. Maybe that's a spoiler. Never mind. Um. Uh. So 
I guess I didn't really do the mysterious part. I did the po the potions and the spell magic. I was thinking of like the papers. I was thinking like maybe she would be doing a spell for a friend. And it was floating. I was just trying to make her like really happy that she was excited that she'd be helping her friend out. And that was also so much fun. And I really liked it. Uh, the skirt I got from reference actually. Sometimes I save fashion references. And I really liked that skirt and so I had saved it and I went back to it uh, to put that in but I really love doing this I'm definitely gonna do more of these in the future um, but thank you for watching bye Why do you let me stay?